This is Daniela Mora with your News in 90. UF Health celebrates Prostate Cancer Awareness Month with an event displaying their leading treatment options. The event allows attendees to understand prostate cancer from a medical perspective. UF Health's MRI fusion biopsy machine allows doctors to successfully remove tumors from their exact locations. The Da Vinci Surgical System is another high-tech piece of equipment leading to less invasive forms of surgery. The system costs about $2 million and results in less pain, less blood loss, and quicker recuperation. Florida Democratic gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum is distancing himself from an FBI investigation about public corruption in Tallahassee. The investigation focuses on outside developers' ability to influence city development projects. Although Gillum has not been named in the subpoenas, questions continue to surface about his involvement. Republican and fellow nominee for the governorship Ron DeSantis has criticized Gillum, saying, There is no way Florida voters can entrust him with our entire state. Gillum's involvement remains unclear, but the FBI told him he is not a focus of the investigation. The FBI has declined to comment. Former Senator John Kyle will replace recently deceased Arizona Senator John McCain for the remainder of this year. Governor of Arizona Doug Ducey announced the former senator would take over. Ducey didn't want to waste any time, therefore he chose Kyle, who served as Senator of Arizona from 1995 to 2013. Kyle has agreed to serve until at least January. It will be up to the voters in 2020 to determine who takes over McCain's seat for the remainder of his term, which ends in 2022. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at wuft.org.